From a 900-year-old spoon to the top secret guest list, this is everything we know about the king's coronation so far. Celebrations of the King's coronation will take place over three whole days in May, featuring two epic processions, a religious service and a star-studded concert at Windsor Castle. It will take place almost 70 years after the Queen's historic crowning and will start on Saturday, May 6th, continuing through until Monday the 8th, which has been declared a bank holiday. So, with that in mind, what will the coronation day actually look like? We can expect the length of the historic ceremony to be cut by half and the number of VIP guests at Westminster Abbey slashed. But the event will still be packed with pomp and pageant and cost the country around £100 million. The exact route is yet to be revealed, but the King and Queen will travel from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Abbey on May the 6th. They'll be travelling in style too, as they're set to ride in the gold state coach that the Queen used for her own ceremony in 1953. Through Admiralty Arch comes the coach to a roar of welcome from the waiting thousands. Once in the Abbey, there are six somewhat quirky stages to the service, lasting around an hour and a half. Like his ancestors, at his coronation, King Charles will sit in King Edward's chair, which is more than 700 years old, and he will be anointed with oil from a 900-year-old spoon. The gold ampulla in the form of an eagle, the neck of which unscrews to receive the holy water with which the sovereign is anointed. The chair is named after Edward I, who had it made to hold the Stone of Destiny, the coronation stone which he took from the Scots in battle in 1296. And the anointment oil is made with musk from African civet cats. Not one, but two crowns will also be worn by Charles during the service. The solid gold St. Edward's crown will be worn first, before being swapped to the much lighter Imperial State crown for the end of the ceremony. After he is anointed, King Charles will be dressed in the Columbium Sidonis, a white linen shift plus the super tunica, a gold brocade robe and the girdle. He will then be given a set of spurs, a sword and the instruments of state, the scepter and the orb, which were carried on the Queen's coffin at her funeral. The King's ring will be placed on the fourth finger of his right hand and he will also wear two armorless essentially golden wristbands. Finally, the triumphant return to the palace. Afterwards, the king and queen will appear together on the balcony of Buckingham Palace to conclude the day's events. So, who is on the guest list? Possibly one of the biggest questions surrounding the day is who's coming? This time, only 2,500 guests will attend, compared to the 8,000 who came to the Queen's coronation. Among them will be members of the royal family, representatives from the Houses of Parliament and the Church, and prominent politicians from the Commonwealth and around the world. But it won't just be VIP guests we see, as representatives from the Commonwealth, charity leaders and NHS workers will also be attending. And we're still very much on the edge of our seats, waiting to find out if Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will accept their invitation. <laughs>